You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt with your early weekly spoilers for July 1st through 5th and some preemption info as well. I suspect we might find out that Kyle is being bamboozled next week. We'll see. And I'm really wondering about Chelsea and Adam and whether they may cross lines. We're going to dive into all of this. But if you have not, please reach down and click that subscribe button. Follow us so you don't miss any of our updates. As we always do on early edition day, we talk about what's going on the rest of this week to set up the spoilers for next week. So you guys know if you're current on episodes that lots of stuff back and forth on Chancellor Winters, Sharon walked in on Phyllis and Nick holding hands. It wasn't romantic. It was more reassuring and friendly, but Sharon's thinking a lot about what she wants in life. And Faith was encouraging her to think about a future with Nick. She doesn't want her mom alone. So that's what's going on as we head into the action on Wednesday, June 26. So Jill has an ultimatum for Billy, you know, She's not very happy with this thing. She's back and forth on the keep it mergered, do a demerger. She even has a call with Lily and is pressing her. And it all seems really dodgy. I don't know if this is a well-written plot or just maybe it almost feels like to me like they don't even know where they're going with it. I hope they do. Billy offers Chance a job at Chancellor Abbott, what he's planning on calling the unmerged half of the company that his mama will own if it goes through. He offered him the co-CEO position, which is kind of interesting because I thought Billy was offering Lily to run the company with him, which would make them co-CEOs, right? So is he plotting against Lily and she's plotting against him? It definitely looks like some double dealing on both sides. Adam and Chelsea have a really good in-person visit with their son Connor on Wednesday. But then when he goes back to the school slash medical facility, he tries to stab himself with a pen because his OCD was telling him he doesn't get to have things, you know, and Adam and Chelsea are both horrified and they are hugging and comforting each other. So something to think about there. Lily, Devon and Nate seem to be playing Billy while sharing info behind his back and they were doing a little bit of theater a little play acting in front of him where Lily and Devon were sniping at each other but apparently it's not real however Lily does think Devon went too far and said some rude things to her and later on Wednesday we have some flashbacks of Neil Winters gosh I miss Christoph St. John she's thinking about what kind of business advice her dad gave her and you know how that might affect her decision making right now Thursday June June 27th, Billy is bothered by how close Chelsea has gotten to Adam. Their bond has deepened. You know, they were romancing and then she tried to set him up to frame him for murdering Ray when she was jealous over Sharon and was imagining him making out with her and just all this stuff. And they had a huge falling out and they were at odds. And now they've just been getting closer and closer and closer. Billy can feel it. Billy doesn't have a lot of patience. Billy has been behaving himself for a very long time, which to me means Billy is ready to go off the deep end personally, possibly also professionally. And Victor uses Kyle against Kyle against Jack Abbott. And he is basically trying to outsmart Jack using his own son against him. Audra is scheming what to do next. Remember, she thought she was going to be running Glissade. And then Victor wanted them to run it together. Kyle and Audra to run it together. Kyle pitched that he should be the sole boss and there's just no telling where Victor's going to land but I tend to think it's going to be more along the lines of siding with Kyle than Audra. Friday June 28th Sally and Chloe have a new project to focus on. Sally needs to be watching her man. Maybe Billy will give her a heads up, but it looks like she's busy with work. And Sharon makes a distress call. I wonder if this is about her 
medication. Remember she mentioned she was having some issues with it and then she's seen this Nick and Phyllis thing and Faith was talking to her about her being alone. I wonder if this is all eating at Sharon and causing her bipolar to kind of flare up where the medication is not working right. Jack and Diane are very worried about Kyle's future. He seems happy to walk away from Jabot for this new opportunity and it feels fishy to them and it should. All right, the week of July 1st, through 5th. I do not expect a brand new episode on Thursday, July 4th. That's Independence Day, if you don't know it. And we should be looking at either an encore episode or a full-on preemption with no y and at all. But definitely don't look for a new episode. So Jack, of course, is wondering why Kyle would leave Jabot for Glissade. And I think he's going to find out pretty soon that Audra took Glissade from Tucker because Victor doesn't want anybody to know that he's in Involved. But if Victor does Audra too dirty, she might drop a dime on him. Victor is going to stay close to Kyle and is basically bonding with him. I think he's kind of imitating with Kyle how Jack and Adam had bonded and got close and worked together, you know, a long time ago. That was Michael, the Mike, was it the... Michael Muni days. I was trying to say Michael Mueller. That's Kyle. Uh, the the Michael Muni days. I feel like this is some sort of flip the script replay of something from three Adams ago. I also wonder if Nikki is going to smell a rat under her roof when she sees what's going on at Jabot and Victor is going to tap Adam to get started at Newman Media targeting Jabot as he wants. And I'm still curious if Adam will do what his daddy says or or if he will second guess him because it involves Jack. Connor's crisis keeps pulling Adam and Chelsea closer. And I, I just wonder if comforting each other could turn to more. Sharon deals with a crisis. Maybe it's her meds. Maybe she may meddle, assuming that Nick and Phyllis are sparking. And I'm if she gets a plot of any sort, I'll be thrilled. We have not seen enough of Sharon Case for quite a while. Audra isn't happy with Victor. She delivered Glissade, and it seems like he is deranking her. She had this whole vision of herself as this powerful lady CEO. And as soon as Victor got what he wanted, he does what he always does and disregards the people who helped him. And Victor is also ready for Michael to make his move to get closer to Diane so he can start trying to unravel Jack's marriage. And Chancellor Winters is in crisis as betrayals abound next week. Those are all of our early weekly spoilers. Please drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Definitely subscribe if you're not following us. And if you are following us, thank you. You are awesome. And be sure and come back soon and often. We are talking Young the Restless seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>